Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building a T-72A. So this is a pretty standard run-of-the-mill Soviet tank that I built recently, so let's get into it. First, I'm going to place down one placer block, and so I build the two right next to each other. It's basically going to be one block behind where you want the extra front of the tank. I'm going to have a row of three. Dark prism in up slabs, and behind that we're going to build out a row of two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we should have eight total. And on the sides of the first two, we'll place down black shulker boxes facing outward. And in front of the black black shulker boxes, two dark oak fence gates. Now behind the shulker boxes, two black stone stairs facing towards each other, and then three black shulker boxes are behind this. Now once we've that done, we can grab our uh, stuff here. So we're just going to need one banner road wheel on the stairs. And on these shulker boxes, we need some normal item frames with green stained glass pane and a dark oak button inside. And lastly, behind the shulker boxes, we're going to place an upside down dead brick stair. And with that done, we can move on to layer 2. Starting the second layer, we'll place down three plate and placer blocks right between the dark oak fence gates. And then we'll place down three player heads right on top to start the glazes. And then behind those, we'll place down a row of three pistons. And to the left and right sides, a green terracotta block. And in the middle, a furnace. So we can place down an ender chest right by right to the left and right side of the pistons so we can debug them for just the time being like so and then we're going to take a dragon head place it right on top of the dark oak fence gate we're just going to start our signs here so we can place down a sign right to the side of the, the end chest Then a sign right on the uh, dragon head. I'm going to debug this right here. And a sign right in the front. We're just going to have to replace like this. So once we have that done, we can keep moving on. So with the main body of the tank, we're going to start by placing dark brisbane slabs to either side of the, or to both sides of the uh, green terracotta blocks. So with the start of the side starting, we're going to take our green terracotta blocks and build out a row of one, two, three, four. So you should have five total and four in the middle. And then we'll place down a row of three green shulker boxes just facing upwards. Then a row of three nether bricks behind those. And then a row of three dark brisbane upside downstairs. So starting off the back, we'll place down some tripwire hooks just on both sides. And we can do this by I think if we rotate it, that'd be good. Yeah, rotate it like that. And then rotate it back in place. Just like that. Alright, so we're going to take these dark prismine up slabs on the side, and we're going to go to the nether bricks, or we're going to go to the shulker boxes. And 
then we're going to take a polished black stone stair and place it upside down so the face of it is towards the back. And then we're going to take a dark oak fence gate, place it right behind it, and open it up. Alright, so for the left side, one thing we're going to do is take a is visible end frame on this the last dark bruise main upslab on the side, place an invisible end frame with an activated rail flipped horizontally, and the rest of it is going to be science. And for the other side, it's just going to be science all the way. Actually, sorry. This one's going to be a polished black stone side. And then all the signs are going to be on the dark bruise stairs. So once we have that done, that'll finish up our second layer, and we can move on to the third and final layers. So how we're going to do the third layer is we're just going to finish up all the hull stuff and then put the turret in. So we're going to start from the back, which is where most of the hull stuff is, since the back is the tallest part. We're going to use dark or black carpets and place them on top of each of the dark oak gates. And then on the facing towards the back, on the right side, two activated rails. So one's going to be in the middle, invisible on frame on the left side, with a green tear kind of block. Next, facing towards the back again on the left side, two spruce trapdoors on the right side, three spruce trapdoors. We're also going to put uh, blackstone pressure plates right on top of all these dead uh, blocks. Next, on the left side, still facing towards the back, we're going to place down three item frames, normal ones, with a brown stained glass pane inside of it. On the opposite side, we're going to have a spruce pressure plate, then one of those item frames with a brown stained glass pane inside, and then another one of those spruce pressure plates. So, this is the completed hull. And we can move on to the turret. One, two, three, go. So to begin the turret, first we're going to undebug this one piston here. So we can start putting in our barrel. So we can start that by placing down a green bed, facing towards the front, right on the furnace, and so over the barrel. And we'll place down one more. And then one uh, prism inside, and just a place a block to place down another barrel. I'm oh, sorry, another bed for the barrel. Okay, so next, to debug these, we want all these to be part foot, and to rotate them so the feet are not as obvious. So we're going to do that by placing the feet next to the uh, slab. And on the side, we're just going to conjoin these two together. And that's that. Next, we're going to take a endo chest, place it backwards, and then a green terracotta block right behind that. So facing towards the back of it, on the right side, place down one green terracotta block. On the opposite side, one lectern. And there's going to be a dark oak sign right on the side of either one. But on the lectern, we're going to have an invisible line frame, oh sorry, a normal line frame right at the front. And that should be it. So right in front of those two sides, we're going to take a dragon head and place it at a slight angle. And that'll be the front of the turret there. So next we place down a barrier facing towards the back of it, a on the left side, a visible end frame on the back of it, and you can put in a eye vendor 
for a spotlight. So moving on towards the back, we're going to place down one green terracotta block right in the middle. Mossy cobblestone walls to each side. Mossy cobblestone wall to the back. Green stained glass panes conjoining the two. And so we can debug these properly, face it towards the back on the left side, place down a daylight sensor on the cobblestone wall on the left side again. So now we can take our debug stick, so facing towards the front of it on the left side. We're going to want east low and the rest of it to be high. On the opposite side, we want them all to be tall. And on this side, all, yeah, all the sides to be tall except for the backwards one, which is north. Okay. So once you have that done, we can start moving on. So we're going to need a uh, oak trap, dark oak trapdoor right on this last green tarot card block on the roof, and then a green carpet right in front. Now to the right side, facing towards the back. Place down two C clickles. Okay, that, that is two. Then we're also going to place down a barrier facing towards the front on the left side. Got to lower the that side a little bit. With an invisible end frame on the back of it, with a white stained glass pane. And on the back of this uh, daily sensor as well, item frame, and a uh, ender pearl. So next for the antenna, face it towards the back on the left side, place down a end rod right on top of the corner glass pane. The two iron bars and one can go out, like that. So lastly, we can put in a machine gun. So we're going to place down a dark oak uh, fence gate right on top of this lectern. We can close it. We can place down a place block and put a end rod. So it's facing like so. Do something kind of similar here. And on the outside, we'll place down a barrier to the side of it with an item frame and an upside down dragon head. And lastly, for some storage boxes and stuff, we'll place down a dark hook sign. Right on that back cobblestone wall. Rebug it. And on the left side, facing towards the back, we'll place down a dark oak head. Oops, right to the side of it. And then one uh, placed. Wait, I think I got that backwards. We're going to place down one dark oak head off to the side of the uh, sign, I'm oh, sorry, the pane, and then one dark oak head placed right in front of that, so they're not exactly even. And of course, we bug this this guy right here. And with that, our T72A should be completed. Do forget one thing though headlights. Invisible end frame on the pistons to the side with the snowball. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the build, of course, and I'll see you in the next video.